Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Gears of War Judgment, and this is my three stars declassified insane difficulty guide and walkthrough. We're currently on Act 6 7. It is entitled Plaza for the Tyrant Dead. So, the declassified on this is that instead of the standard, uh, uh, you know, lesser uh, locust, uh, you'll be dealing with uh, several spawns. Well, two if you're lucky, of uh, of the elite of the elite guard. Now, I, in the last video, I mentioned that uh, I was coming in here with the um, with the trip bar crossbow, and, and that is because um, there is a bit of waiting for him to overheat his guns. Now, when you have your reticle over his his guns, your reticle turns red, but you don't deal him any damage. And the reason I know that is because he, you cannot finish him off or or um, get him to the next phase unless you uh, destroy the rocket launcher up there so you have to destroy that and while I'm waiting for that I do like to use some tripwire crossbows and uh, and just set down some indiscriminate traps um, so on this phase he's gonna be using the flamethrower and then he shoots once you wound him if he's close enough to the building he won't shoot you as he is about to cross over to the building but if he's too far away from the building he will shoot you before he climbs up onto the building and then on this section um, he's going to summon the lackeys and these lackeys are rough you've got um, cyclopses theron guards and an elite mauler so on this you you definitely want to um, try to your very best to get the theron guards out of your way because you're going to be sprinting around a lot on this, and the, the amount of times that you're going to get tagged with a, uh, a with his his weapon, his arrow, is just going to be priceless. It's absolutely, it's incredible. Um, but um, he can jump all the way over to you if he signposts it, as he just did right there, and it can kill you if you're not lucky. So you really need to be careful. This is a very, very difficult boss. As I mentioned in the last video, it took 12 hours for me to do this. And I didn't think I, I could get it to work because it's a, a huge mess. But on this part, he does not shoot. He does not use his flamethrower. He just charges at you and he uses his digger. So you don't want to be too close to him. You never want to be too close to him. But you're going to be shooting his left leg. Um, if you are too close to him, he has a, um, a passive defense where he will let loose ink grenades. And if you're under him for any amount of time that's long at all, you're going to get killed to that. Um, so you really need to be careful here of, um, of just waiting for him to signpost his charge and then just running from cover to cover. Um, if you kill all of the lackeys here, I, I'm, I'm almost positive. I've done it for 12 fucking hours. I should be positive, right? That he's not going to spawn any more enemies. But on the third wave, he does spawn more if you kill everybody. So it's one of those situations where you have to have some enemies left before um, he'll transition into a, what he f does at the, f at the very end, which is to throw waves of emulsion at you. So just stay away from the digger. Um, the, the best enemy to keep around on this part is that elite mauler. But I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if you kill all the lackeys, it's fine. Um, you are going to get enough time during waves two and three, and remember, there's no checkpoint anywhere. Um, so this is a wave two transitioning to wave three. So just stay behind cover. He's going to go up onto the wall, and now he's going to do um, some nemesis attacks. You don't need to be concerned about those. It's going to give you an opportunity to um, to restock on your ammunition and to kill anybody who's left. But I think these enemies unspawn when wave three starts. But wave three, uh, so wave three, there's no charging. There's no uh, jettisoning uh, incendiaries at you. It's just, here. here's the last wave. Guess what it is? It's two grinders and the rest is ragers. So you really need to be getting headshots on them if you can and uh, taking care of the, um, the two grinders. Now, He's going to come down at length, and this is going to have to be uh, a situation where you're watching out for his telegraph, because what you're doing now is you're killing X amount of enemies, 
Because at this point, you can't kill him. You're, you're waiting for him to rear up on his hind legs and throw the waves of emulsion at you because at that point, his mouth will turn uh, have the reticle go red over it, and then you can hit him. So you have to have some of these sons of bitches around at the end. Uh, and, and it's just horrifying. This is just hell. Uh, I didn't think this I could ever get this to work. It, it's so difficult. Um, but here, see? He's going to telegraph the wave of emulsion. You need to run far away, far, far away. And unfortunately, if you do kill all the ragers here, he'll spawn, I think, the second wave of enemies. So it's, it's, actually, it's actually really bad. But the thing is to really watch out for that tell of when he's going to throw that because it will instantly kill you. I got staggered by it. I was a little bit close to it right there. So it's, it's, a, uh, it's a really awkward and, and unfair boss fight. It's truly unfair. No checkpointing. Uh, because everything you do, something goes wrong. And, you know, you're, you're trying to go to one side of the cover. He's doing stuff. The raids are chasing at you. The maulers are doing their thing. And it just doesn't seem like it's feasible at all. Look at this guy. He's going to mantle kick me, the rager. He's going to mantle kick me, and I'm going to get the hell out of here. And uh, here he goes. He's going to mantle. I mean, this is hardly any safety. He mantle kicked me. And then in a moment, you're going to see me unspawn. And that's me giving my ascension from hell and the cutscene triggering. I, I don't include cutscenes in my walkthroughs. But, oh, my God. That, that fight is, is just, it's unforgivable. And thank God I got the stars there. And I hope that you got the stars there, too. Um what other weapons are good? The long shot is on the stage if you want to. If you want to get headshots on those ragers. I just find that it's a little bit too stressful. And I get too preoccupied shooting the ragers um, with the long shot when other enemies are attacking me. And he's doing his thing. And there's just... You have to... The situ, situational awareness that you have to have for this fight is just incredible. And I give credit to anybody who can do that solo, insane, to classified. It's... Uh, it's the thing of nightmares, and I, I, I don't know what I, I, I fear mo more, this or the Gears 3 boss, but I know the Gears 3 boss took longer. But in thinking about this whole thing, it did lead me to the question that I always have in my mind when I do very difficult games. At what point do you walk away? At what point do you stop? Do you quit? I've, you know, I've walked away my share in the past, but I figured that if the Gears 3 boss took that long, this boss has got to take, you know, at least, you know, part of that. But And there was also, there was no excuse for me, uh, since I'm playing this at 60 frames per second, whereas everybody else in the past, you know, 10 years ago, they, they were all playing at 30, so I'm playing at twice the frame rate. So I have uh, no excuses. So anyway, oh boy, that, that fight is just truly unforgivable. Challenging, oh, very challenging. Uh, I hope that uh, I, I just hope that that you can get through it. With uh, there's other videos that can you know give you different ideas, but I just hope that what I can present to you can be different from other people and give you an idea that maybe nobody has implemented in in a walkthrough. So, Gears of War Judgment is now completed, declassified, insane difficulty, completely solo, and I hope that you were able to avail yourself of the walkthrough. I hope that you enjoyed it. hope that the walkthrough took as good of care of you as I wanted it to in the first place. So until my next project, I will ask that you would take care. And thank you very much. And as I say, take care.